Okay, this is, uh, oh, this is a section, um, well, the rest of the surface area notes. All right, so um, let's talk about pyramids real quick. This is a regular pyramid, and it's a regular period because the base is a regular polygon. Okay. So it makes it a regular pyramid. So here we've got a square. It's a regular polygon. All right. And uh, one new word when we look at pyramids is if you look at your kind of cheat sheet, note, packet, formula, whatever. Um, if you look at this sheet of paper right here, it's got your stuff about pyramids on it. Um, you'll notice this little L, lowercase l. A little lowercase l, that is the slant height. And it's basically the distance, if you were to say roll a stone from the top of the pyramid down the wall perfectly so that these two points at the bottom and the, and the top, the vertex up here, so that um, it formed a right angle with the base, that is called the slant height, okay? We need, we need to know that to find the surface area of a pyramid, okay? So let's move over and do an example. My formula for pyramid is the surface area equals uh, the base plus one half times the perimeter of the base, that's big P, times the slant height. Well, let's write down everything we know. B is going to be the area of the base. Well, that's, excuse me, 6 times 6, right? The base is a square, so 6 times 6 is 36. We need to know P. P is the perimeter of the base. So that's going to be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 times 4 is 24. 24. And then we need to know the slant height. Well, that's given to us right here. That's 12. This is a little lowercase l. So l is 12. Plug everything in. Surface area equals the base, which is 36, plus 1 half times P times L, which is 24 times 12. Okay, and you get that the surface area should be, um, let's see, 180, I believe. So surface area should be 180. Okay, surface area is 180 on that one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is where they get more fun. And by more fun, I mean a little bit more complicated. Not too much, but uh, a little bit. Okay, so in this one, we want to find the, once again, the surface area. And what we have now is a regular polygon based, regular polygon based pyramid. Okay, so the base of this polygon, I'm sorry, the base of this pyramid is a polygon. It's a hexagon, and I like this example because it shows you what the base looks like. This is the bottom of the of the polygon. All right, so we're going to use that bottom to help us. Um, my formula for area of the regular polygon-based pyramid is uh, surface area equals one half the apothem times the side length times n, which is the number of sides plus one half times the side length times n times the slant height, which is little l. Well, little l is 14. They give us that. Okay, the side length, well, that's just 10, right? So this is my little s is 10. All right. My apothem is actually given to me right here. This is my little a, the apothem of the base. All right, and my number of sides, n, is 6, because I've got hexagon, okay? So I've got a, I've got s, I've got n, I've got s, n, and I also have the slant height. So let's plug everything in. Surface area equals 1 half of the apothem, which is 5, square roots of 3, times n, which is 6, plus 1 half times the side length, which is 10, times 
n, which is 6, number size is 6, times the slant height, which we give you is 14. Okay. Um, we could reduce this and simplify it and stuff. Um, I'm sure that you guys can find the answer. Plug that into your calculator. I actually don't have the answer right in front of me, so we'll leave it as that. But once again, uh, the setup is what's important on this one. Okay. So that's uh, the first surface area for a regular based polygonal pyramid. Regular polygon based pyramid. Okay. Let's do another one. This one is very similar. This one is similar, um, except that in this one, I don't know the slant height. So I know little s is 8. I'm given the apothem, that's little a. Um, I've got the height, that doesn't, I don't really care about that. If I look at my formula, I don't really care about the height. Um, I know the number of sides is 5. This is a pentagonal prison. Okay, and uh, so I've basically got everything except... I need to know the slant height. Well, if I look at this, it looks like I've got a triangle here. So to find that, I will label this side little l. Okay, so to find that, I'm going to take 4.8 squared, that's one leg, plus 5.5 squared equals little l squared. So 4.8 squared plus 5.5 squared equals l squared. Okay, I do a bunch of math, and once I figure that out, I'm just going to plug L back into this equation here. Surface area equals one half A S N plus one half S N L. Not Saturday Night Live, but anyway. So I've got S A L and N in this problem. You guys can work out L. N in this problem is five, right? Because that's my number of sides. So N is five. In this one. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. Now we're going to look at cones. And for this cone example, um, we've got a radius of 5 and a length, uh, sorry, excuse me, a slant height of 15. Our formula for a cone, if we bring it under the microscope here, is pi r squared plus pi times r times the slant height. So, if I want to find the area of this cone, well, let me just rewrite that, I guess. Uh, surface area equals pi r squared plus pi r times the slant height. And um, I know that the slant height is 15. I know that r is 5, and that's all I need. Okay, so let's plug everything in. Surface area equals pi times r squared, well that's 5 squared, plus pi times r times 15. And surface area will be 25 pi plus um, 75 pi. It should end up with the surface area equals about 100 pi. And now you could estimate that if you wanted. Um, I'm just going to leave that as 100 pi because it looks nicer. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Find the surface area of the right cone. Um, so this one, we've got the radius, so that's good. And actually, this is the answer, 1178. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but the one thing that we're missing here is the slant height. Right? So I need two things. I need the radius and the slant height. To find the slant height, I'm going to look at this triangle right here. It's formed here in blue. 20 by 15 by mystery. This is little l is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I've got 20 here, 15 here. This is right at triangle. So 20 squared plus 15 squared equals l squared. Okay, and I'll give you a hint here that l is going to be... Um, L is going to be 25, actually. Okay, so you get down to L is 25, and then you're just going to plug it into your formula over here. A surface area equals pi r squared plus pi r times the slant height 
plug everything you've got in there um, because this is my radius and the slant height and then I'm good. Okay, let's look at a couple sphere examples and then we'll call it good on this one. Real quick, a sphere, the formula for a sphere is 4 pi times r squared. Surface area is 4 pi r squared, so all I literally need is r. Alright, so sa in this example equals pi, sorry, uh, 4 times pi times the radius squared, which is 7 squared. Okay, so surface area equals 4 pi times 28. 28 times 4 is going to be 120 minus 4, so 116 pi. So surface area equals 116 pi. Okay, that's it for this one. Now, really careful on semicircles. With a semicircle, the formula is not half of um, the formula for a full sphere. Okay, for a semisphere, half of a sphere, hemisphere, <laughs> let's get the language right here. For a hemisphere, um, the formula is 3 pi r squared. So if I know, for instance, r is, um, you know, uh, let's see, I think 9. So if r is 9, then my surface area is going to be 3 pi times 9. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. I give you the radius, 6.7. Anyway, surface area is going to be 3 pi 6.7 squared. Okay, and that's it. That's all That's all I've got to do. Spheres, I think, you'll find, and hemispheres, I think, to, to be the easiest. Cones, probably the second easiest as we move up the page. And probably the more difficult things are the pyramids. And the prisms okay this chapter this this actually really this whole chapter is interesting because basically you just get a bunch of formulas and then you just got to practice 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 find those things you need plug it in find what you need plug it in over and over and over again and um, then you should be okay so that covers up this that covers the surface area um, portion of the notes and uh, next week we'll work on the volume and then we will be done with geometry B